Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in here on tonight doing our usual Thursday Night Live. And we are going to ask you the number one question that most people want to know. How is it that you have a stress-free cruise? cruise? Listen, so that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to give you some of our top tips and tricks to get you through your first cruise seamlessly, easily, so you don't have to stress. This will not be for the people that have not booked yet. This live is dedicated to those that have booked, and now they want to know what's the next steps to prepare for that first voyage. So, All right. I see some of the family yeah. in the house speaking in the chat. What's going on, family? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, Lord. All right, babe. Let's go ahead and get right on into it. So first thing we want to talk about is the Wi-Fi package. We get this weekly. As we keep going live, we just keep getting the number one question. Do I need a Wi-Fi package? Or is the Wi-Fi package or worth it? Or is the Wi-Fi package worth it? Yeah. Here is the thing. If you want to get in touch with anybody or connect to something on the outside world, you're going to need some type of internet service. Yeah. And that is not something that's included in your cruise fare. We wish it was. Yeah. I wish that they would create that all-inclusive experience that most of us are used to, especially for us that love like all-inclusive um, resorts, but it does not. So you do have an option of three package levels when it comes to Carnival Cruise Lines for the internet packaging. So we're about to pop that on the screen. All we right. want to talk about, well, I'm going to get my husband to talk about it All right. a little bit. <clears throat> All right. So we had mentioned that there was three different options. As you can see on the screen, you can either choose the, the social package, you can choose the value package or the premium package. And you can see that the social is $12.75 per person per day. Mm -hmm. The value package is $17 per day per person. And the premium Wi-Fi is $18.70 per person uh, per day. So you can see the prices here. And a lot of you guys have been wondering, like, which package should I choose? So we decided to bring up the packages so you can see exactly what's included um, in each one. So, like, if you choose the social package, you can see that covers your, you know, your uh, your Facebook, your, your Facebook, your Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp. WhatsApp, because a lot of you guys be trying to figure out how you can communicate mm -hmm. with people on a cruise. So if you want to use WhatsApp. That's perfect for the social package, you know, and Snapchat. So I hope that helped you out. Now, the next one is actually the value. This is the one that most of the time that we get if we don't have to work on the ship, because this mm -hmm. one basically covers, you know, a bulk of what you would need. So basically you can surf any website. You can check your emails. Uh, you can check the weather. Uh, if you need to check your banking stuff, you can check that. Right. And uh, also this one does not, like I told you, does not support streaming. So this one, like, so if you want to look at Netflix or Spotify or something like that, you cannot use the value package. So the one, if you need to do all that, you will have to do the premium package. And what you can see, the premium package basically covers everything. So I ain't going to call uh -huh. it all out. It, it, covers, <laughs> it, yeah, it covers everything, man. <laughs> so the next question is, is the Wi-Fi package worth it? So here's yeah. my thing. It's not going to be like your land-based Wi-Fi at your home. It's not going to be your Fios. It's not even going to be your Comcast. As much as Comcast gets on most of our nerves yeah. and how expensive it is, that it can be a little spotty as well on land, you're going to pretty much have to deal with the fact that this is not your land-based Wi-Fi. Like You're right. going to have a lot of hiccups. On a good day, you're going to be like, Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, it actually did what it's supposed to do. Right. The next thing that I wanted to talk about, because I get this almost daily, is does everybody need to um, buy the Wi-Fi package? And that really depends on what your family's needs are, because yeah. for us, we have to do separate packaging. Because what happens is one person logs in, the other person has to log out. So in order for us to just seamlessly do what we need to do, we just buy two because we ain't got time. Yeah, we ain't got time. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too stressful. <laughs> yeah, like, are you on the Wi-Fi? Let me go ahead and get your folio number because it's folio number driven. And if you're new to cruising, a folio number is a number that's going to be on your sign and sale card. And you use that as an identifier when you log into their Wi-Fi. So 
you can't have the folio number and then your cousin is logged into the folio number. Somebody's getting kicked out. <laughs> right. I see more of y'all in the house hey, still speaking. What's up, fam? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, we're going to move on to the next thing. Is the question we get all the time. Oh, Gratuities. Listen, <laughs> I want to pose the question down in the chat. How many of you all that are veteran cruisers or you've been cruising for a minute, how many of you all do the prepaid gratuities? I want to see that sounded off while we talk about why we think you should do prepaid gratuities and what is prepaid gratuities. So first and foremost, prepaid gratuities is exactly what it sounds like. You take care of it before you get on the ship. Yep. And once you get on the ship, you don't have to worry about it anymore. But here's the thing. Even prepaid gratuities is not inclusive of everything. If you go to the bar, if you buy any kind of drink, if you go to specialty restaurants, those gratuities will be added on to the price of whatever it is you're purchasing. So your yep. prepaid gratuities <clears throat> do not extend that way. I don't understand why it doesn't. I just think of it as one of those things that everyone does not partake in those things. Right. So it would be unfair to heighten the price of the prepaid gratuities to cover everybody if that's not something that everyone partakes in. That's the only logic that I can get behind it because for yeah. me it doesn't make sense. But I see quite a few people say uh say I, I do. I see uh, Rubio right. say I do. Right. I see y'all. I see y'all. Uh, I, I like say I have. Uh, I like pretty girl say I I prepaid. Lisa say I prepay. Okay. Yes, indeed. So yeah, that's definitely a way to go, especially if you're trying to have an yeah. uh, all inclusive like type of experience and don't have to worry about paying those gratuities at the end. That part um, on your sign and sale, <laughs> but. Tonight, we want to actually show you guys the prices because some of you guys might not know the cost of prepaid gratuities. Mm -hmm. So on the screen here, as you can see, there's actually two different tiers. So they got, <clears throat> excuse me, we got the uh, cruises departing prior to April the 1st. And as you can see, after April the 1st, the price is going to go up. So yeah, hold your horse. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be all right. I know some of y'all like, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, they're going yeah. up. So um, if you got a standard stateroom, so that'd be like an insider cabin, balcony. Uh, you got to help me out, baby, because you the Asian. I, I got it right. What you talking about now? Different cabins for standard oh, yeah. staterooms, insiders, insider, insider, ocean view. Yeah, balcony. so that's gonna run fourteen fifty per person per day. Um, and then if you got a suite, it's gonna be sixteen fifty per day per person. So this is a cost that you definitely want to take in consideration. And then, like we said, after April. The price is going to go up. <laughs> so your standard room is going to become $16 per person. And you got no state and your suite's going to come $18, $18 per, per person. Per, person. per yeah. day. Per day. Yes. Per day. Yep. So for me, us, like they say in the Bible, for me in my house, <laughs> we just go ahead and do the prepaid gratuities. We get it behind us. We don't want to deal with it while we're on the cruise because we want to, like my husband said, create that all-inclusive experience while we're on board. Yeah. And then two, here, here, here's here's what happens when you don't pay them. Don't know. Y'all ready for it? They're going to charge them to you anyway. Yep. Right <laughs> so the what the happens cruise. is they're going to charge them to your sign and sale card. We explain what that is. We're going to go into that a little bit later for the people that have not sailed before what a sign and sale card is. But they're going to charge it to that card anyway. Then if you're a person that says, oh, my God, I didn't want to tip that much or, I, you know, it kind of takes you off guard because if you don't prepay it, you're kind of like in sticker shock at that moment. Right. See, when you prepay it, you face it before you get on the cruise. Yeah. <laughs> but then when, you, when it happens on board, it's like, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You, hey, he ain't do that good of a job. Right. Man, I got it. <laughs> so if you disagree with the price that they're charging you on your sign of sale card, then you got to go down there to get the services. services with everybody else. That got hit with their pre bay gratuities. Well, no, post um, gratuities at the same day on time. You should see that line. Yeah, it'd be I long. Think we, I think we actually <laughs> took like a video of. We would never do that because it's kind of yeah. like it's kind of like um, yeah, not intrusive. paying your gratuity <laughs> <Yeah>. shaming. <laughs> but it looks like we're like standing in line, like ready to get some cheese and some right. um, peanut butter Wait. and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so That's stupid. But um. So yeah, that's pre how we do it. Yeah, prepay your gratuities, man. So the next thing we want to do is talk about packing because the question we get oh, a lot of times, uh, what do I need to pack? What do I need to carry? So we kind of gonna kind of simplify and talk about some base things that you mm -hmm. should think about when packing. 
and then some of the essential stuff, the extra stuff that we take to make that make your trip a whole lot more stress free if you have these things. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to packing, the first thing is outfits. Yeah, that's clear as day. Outfits. So I mean, that's gonna be ba- naked, right? So basically, thinking you most of you guys are going in the summer, but it don't matter when you go in the Caribbean; it's still hot anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we learned that one the hard way, right? So whatever you wear in the summer, as far as outfits. That's what you would pack for the cruise. So if you like shorts mm-hmm. with shorts, if you like uh, uh what's, what's some things you with capris and um, sundresses, rompers. yeah, uh, basketball shorts for the fellas, you know, mm-hmm. cargo shorts for the fellas, whatever you wear for the summer. Uh, and then also as far as how many outfits you need to bring. So that's all depends on how many Subjective. times that you want to change every day. So like the queen, she changes twice a day. So mo- most some of the days I change twice. But she changed twice every day. I was like, I don't want to take <laughs> ten outfits on a on a five day cruise. That that ain't what I'm what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Um. The next but thing, you're a guy, right? But so that the, commercial said, "Oh, he's a guy," you know. <laughs> <laughs> so so the next thing would be, of course, whatever you want to put on your feet, whether it's slippers, flip flops, sneakers, mm-hmm. whatever, water shoes. Yes, you want to make sure that you have them, and then also your elegant night attire. So if you plan on one, oh, yeah. two, or ten. The uh, elegant night, you definitely gonna ha- want to have something. Suggest you do. Yeah, please. Yeah, please do that. And the thing about it, you don't have to dress up in no suit and mm-hmm. no ball gown. You don't have to. But do just that. get a little nicer than you were. You to know, present yourself normally on a normal day. Right. So by the time we get to elegant night, you should look different. That part. <laughs> I see you in your swimwear and your shorts and your and your t-shirts uh-huh. and, your, and your tank top. So now I want to see you in your nice formal attire. Yeah. Man. When I see you walk through the dining room, I want to be like. Was that Bob that was in the guy doing pool early? Boy, you clean. <laughs> See, you know how old people always say, boy, you clean up nice. Right. <laughs> I want to be able to say that. All right. I see it's 300, 304 you guys in the house. If you're getting value out this live, please go ahead and smash that like button. The uh, the next thing we want to talk about is the swimwear. Uh-huh. Which, so you want it. So, of course, if you're a lady, you need to have your bathing suits. Fellas, you need Several. your swimming. Yeah. <laughs> you need your swimming trunks. And then Queen mentioned um the water shoes. Now, mm-hmm. water shoes are not 100 percent necessary. It's necessary. Uh, but if you the type <laughs> like like me, I don't like for my feet to touch the bottom of the pool Nothing. or the bottom of an ocean. Nah. So <laughs> I done had some bad experiences with that. So <laughs> I got a little bit of PTSD going on. So I got to have something on my goddamn feet. Uh the next thing we want to talk about is sleepwear. Uh, cause that's something to easily forget. Um, it's your yeah, sleepwear. It is. Um, but as for me, I don't take no sleepwear. I get ready to say he gonna tell yeah, y'all his because, all his personal. Yeah, because I, I sleep in my birthday suit. Stop I can't telling sleep. people that. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I get, I bet you a whole lot of y'all on here sleep in your birthday suit. I ain't the only one. <laughs> I, hey, if I knew what they I slept got, in, it'd I be got, a problem. I got to be free. I got to be free. <laughs> <laughs> you just like to be free to turn over. And... Oh, that too. But That's I just all. like to be. I just like to be free, man. Listen. And um, last but not least would be toiletry. So that would be like your toothpaste, toothbrush. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it, but think about- Because you know what your toiletries are. Right. Everybody's so toiletries stuff, are different. Right. Think about the stuff that you use when you get up in the morning to get yourself ready. That's and, your toiletry. And that's actually a good point. Like You have to kind of start thinking about those things now. Like We do it like, like, okay, what is my first steps when I get into the bathroom? Like if for me, like I do skincare first thing in the morning, like it's weird, but <laughs> I do skincare first thing in the morning and then I go through this whole regimen of what I do and then I brush my teeth and then I sleep with the, a retainer. So I clean that out. So I'm thinking about all the steps of the things that I do so I can make sure that I'm putting that down on my check sheet so I can right. make sure that I'm not going to leave nothing behind. Right. Um, while we're talking about check sheets. Don't yes. forget on our website, codefundtravel.com under yes. Cruise Essentials, we actually have a digital packing list that will help you out. Is it all inclusive to everything? No, because like we said, everybody's needs for packing is a little different. So just tweak it. Right. All right. So the next thing we're going to move to is some of the uh, central stuff that we take to make our trip that much better. So the first what thing, got, baby? <laughs> so the first thing that we, well, I'm to and we see you. y'all in the chat. Hey y'all. Yeah. What's up? We can we, see we y'all. We coming to y'all yeah, in we a coming minute. Back. We get, coming back. We coming. We getting the church announcements out yeah. the way first. <laughs> so uh, you want to make sure that you have your lanyard for your sign and sale card. Mm-hmm. That is a must. Yes. And what's the next thing they need to have, baby? Um, For me, 
it starts off before we even get on a cruise ship. Invest in some luggage tags, yeah. like for real, like for real, because they have these wire around it that you screw onto your luggage so that your yeah. stick ain't getting torn off and that your bags can actually end up at your door. Right. Because we were telling y'all <laughs> last week that those porters <laughs> oh, love are. them to death, but they they handle your, your luggage with a, a little bit of roughness. So like we said, you don't want to have no paper on there and then get ripped off. And now you have to uh, go down <clears throat> to guest services. Yeah. Where's my bag? Yeah, and then you can't. Then they can't I need find my your bag. Underwear. So the good thing is not lost; it's just misplaced because there ain't no luggage tag. It's on, on there somewhere. Yeah, it's on there somewhere. <laughs> All right. So the next thing, if uh, if you like to take your cell phone with you when you go to the water, always a waterproof phone case. Mm -hmm. Now, typically, I carry this. The Queen does not do this anymore. She does do. the waterproof fanny, fanny pack. pack. We was talking about that last week. So show them how. Show them how you roll that blunt. All right. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. I heard somebody say somebody, but it's triple zip. So in the inside you have, you, you can't see it, but it's one, you can hear it. Two, I sound like the owl on <laughs> three. And then you roll it down like a what? I hear y'all are blurred. And then you fold it over yep. and it keeps it nice and waterproof. Yeah, and when so I say I, everything uh, I need, oh, you got it. Everything that I need is on me. Right. So I put, um, so fellas, I I put my money and my uh my phone in there. Yeah. And then she put her phone and money inside of and that. And I put the credit cards in here because yeah, it's it's dark. It's not um transparent because right. you can put your credit cards in something like this, but the fact that somebody else can see your skit, even if you put something before it or behind it, I don't really like that. Right. It's like displaying, like when you see people on the internet just flashing like all their money. It's almost like I just got paid today. I'm like, I can literally <laughs> send somebody around there to take care of that. Right. <laughs> That's just stupid. All right. So the next thing that we like to um, carry, and before I talk about that, I see it's 353 of y'all in the house. So make Listen, sure you go ahead and smash that like Thursday. button. All right. So the next thing is going to be a mm -hmm. nine surge protected uh, power strip. This is going to be real important because... If you're the type of person you got 20,000 things that you need to plug up, that cruise ship is not going to have enough <laughs> <laughs> enough plugs for you. So this is really going to come in handy. So you basically, you know, we got all these things on our website, cofundtravel.com, and our Cruise Essential store, which is, going, is actually linked down below, so you can check that out. You know, linked it already, baby. See, yeah, listen, I linked it, listen. I done linked it down below. But what's the next thing there, baby? Um, You don't put all your stuff on my, on my sheet so I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing is, y'all know, if y'all been around here any length of time, y'all know that I take all the medications with me. Yes, indeed. I'm the person that you come to if your toe hurt, you have a headache, <laughs> you have a toothache. I don't know if it's because I'm Haitian. I don't know. I just make sure that we have everything <laughs> that we need at one guy doing that. <laughs> yeah, that thing definitely come in handy, buddy. And I do. So I like get, this get one. Get you one of them. And but in particular, <clears throat> I would like you to get this one because... You can put all of your stuff in. As you can see, it's jam-packed. It really shouldn't be this packed. But like I say, I pack for everybody. But it actually closes like a clamshell, and then it locks. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about this stuff rolling around in your bag. And when you go into it, all your pills got you around there looking like you get ready to scratch. <laughs> you know, all your stuff is still going to be where it needs to be. Uh, oh, um, speaking of, before you move on to... to the drum ring. Yeah, before, the you, drum move, so you, you, before you move on to that... Uh, if you got prescription medicine, make sure you keep that in the original bottle. If it's a control, it's drug. a control. Yeah, keep that in the original. But yeah, now we can talk about these. Uh, yes, your Dramamine and your C band. Woo. So if you're a person, well, we'll say if you got vertigo. I yeah. say if it's your first time cruising, <clears throat> Still, prepare yeah, anyway. I, I totally agree. Yeah, yeah. So just in case, because we was on the, we was on the sunshine, Woo, um, baby. Doing, and because that ship is smaller, um, those that, that was on there were from the group cruise, man, we thought you felt drunk and sick all at the same time. And you yeah. had drunk and they had stroke of liquor at the time. I'm telling so, you, I'm like, did they not, did they have hydraulics on that ship? Right. So like I told you last week, we have a family member that didn't listen to us and didn't do drama mean and, and lost a, almost three days and lost three days. And I'm telling you, being seasick does not feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it yeah. don't feel good at all, man. And last but not least, go and get your baby tumblers, man. 
These right here are a lifesaver, especially if you like to get in the water and you know, when Carnival gives you a drink at the bar or soda, something like that, it's open. So yeah, it's so, gonna melt really fast. Right. So this will keep it cold longer. And then also you can, you know, put it where you want, stuff like that, and how to worry about skip getting inside your drink. That part right there. Because <clears throat> I don't trust people these days. I know that they said the dogs out there at the port now and uh, Mm -mm, I don't trust people. Mm -mm, nope, yeah. Nope. So, uh, like I said, all of these items and plus more is on our website, cofundtravel.com. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and it's, mm -hmm. it's linked down in the description for the uh, cruise essentials. So, what else we got going on, baby? And we hope that all of you all can hear us really, really well. Listen, all of you all's contributions do not go unnoticed. Every yeah, we super chat, it. super sticker <clears throat> membership that y'all do has started bringing in things like this yeah so we can so we can level up <laughs> <laughs> look that's all his idea because i'm like this is a lot, this is a lot. <laughs> but the next thing we want to talk about is your documentation yeah um, man listen um a lot of people start to get things a little confused about what the requirements are when it comes to cruising listen if you're leaving a u.s port and returning back to said u.s port you can technically travel with a birth certificate. Y'all are going to hear me say it again. <laughs> Don't y'all come to the port with the birth certificate with your feet print on it. Yeah. Not the one with your mama thumbprint right here, your daddy thumbprint right here. If your daddy's mission, then it's just going to be like this. <laughs> but we're not going to show up to the cruise port with an invalid birth certificate because guess what they're going to do? They're going to send you right back where you came from. You might not be able to go home that day, but you're not going to stay at that port and you're not getting on that ship. Right. So make sure that if you're even in doubt, this is what I tell you, if you're in doubt that your um, birth certificate is not valid, just go ahead and spend like, I think it's with like under $12 yeah. where here in Virginia to just get a reprint of your birth certificate. Here in Virginia, I don't know if it's like that in your state, but we can go to the DMV now, Lord have mercy, and get one. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yeah, that made it so convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I don't going know. Going down to what? Vital statistics. Vital statistics, Lord, baby. Man. Or getting them to mail it to you. You be like, what if somebody yeah. intercept my birth certificate? Because you know, <laughs> Wait, we're, real, we're real sensitive about our birth certificates. <laughs> but the question is, why would somebody want to intercept your birth certificate? Because I'm no. important like that. Because <laughs> that's subjective. <laughs> Stupid. But no, for real, your birth certificate and a government issued ID. Yeah. Listen, if you're from another country, please go on Carnival.com and you'll be able to look at what the requirements are for the country that you are originating from. Yeah. Because some of them do require you to have visas or some kind of other documentation that goes along with a passport most of the time. So just make sure that you're vetting out that information for whatever country that you are coming from. Also, you can travel with a passport book or a passport card. You can do that, but you also need to pair that with an ID. Will they necessarily look at your ID when you're checking in? Maybe not, but there are times where you have to present an ID to get back on the ship when right. you go out in port. So that's why we tell people, <clears throat> make sure that you're bringing both. In real facts, why are we going out the country without an ID though? Right. Like I've been really <laughs> thinking about this stuff. Like I'm one of right. those people that be sitting there like, why would you, I don't go down the street without my, my ID. License, right. Like maybe cause I'm dark skinned. I don't know. <laughs> I just want to make sure that I'm, I can I, prove who I who am. Who I am. That's the way to say prove who I am. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, we live in Virginia. Say, just in case, Things are different. Say, just in case something <laughs> jump off. This is me <laughs> right here. This is me. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I do see some people in the chat talking about, um, asking like, what about the children and all that? You can definitely do birth certificates for children. If they're over 16 and maybe 15, don't. Quote me on this, but there is an age where they have to also have some kind of photo ID. And I think it's 16 right. um, without me looking right at my notes and looking at my computer right now. They also have to pair that birth certificate with an ID as well. And while you on the road, uh, another question we get when uh, families take other people's children on, on a cruise. Yeah, you're going to need uh, to get what, that. Yeah, what documentation do they need? Yeah, y'all going to need some some kind of ladder <laughs> that y'all going to need to sign to make sure that y'all just not taking. Lil, Lil Ray 
out the country. His parents they won't don't make know sure y'all about ain't that. kidnapping them and putting yeah, them on the boat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So make sure Carnival has a really good write up under their minor policy or minor cruising policy page on their website, and it will tell you every scenario of what it is that you need to do to sail with a minor. So make sure you're doing that because everybody's situation is different. Right. Sometimes, you know, I get the question about the children with one parent and the other parent is not going like there is literally a breakdown for every scenario on the website. Yep. All right. So I see somebody say, I just need a letter to take somebody else's kids. Yep. <laughs> Well, they signed and off on it. I can I can remember when I was in school and I had and if I wanted to go to my grandma's house, which was I mean, you still need their documentation. My, Don't my, get it twisted. Right. You still need those things too. It's, when I when I wanted to go to my aunt's house, my grandma's house, my mama had to write a permission note. Yeah, for the to, bus to the officer. The bus can take because the bus mm -hmm. driver ain't gonna believe me. No, <laughs> they gonna believe it loud. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's the scenario. All right. So the next thing that you guys um we get a lot is. Uh, how much cash should I bring to spend? And that's very subjective. Yeah, it really it's very is. subjective. But the floor that we use, of course, we say it all the time, is five hundred. Um, it doesn't mean that we're going to spend five hundred. Mm -mm, but we, but we like to keep that on us just in case. Um, we want to tip extra. We want to buy stuff in port. Mm -hmm. And then also, we don't take five hundred dollar bills. We break them down in Small denominations. Increments. So we have ones, five, Five's, tens, tens 20. and twenties. That's how we do it. Yeah. So we make sure that we have the ones um, to be able to tip and the five to tip. And then you really good. You get up to the 10 and 20 range with us. Mm. So but we told you last week with the tipping that if you really look out for uh, the people that's running and they, they bring in drinks, they will keep coming back to you and keep giving you drinks. Look, we always say money <clears throat> makes the world go round. And money is the best motivator, honey. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's a threshold. But like I said, that don't mean that you have to take it. But we've. Over the years, we found that's a good amount. We only we only do that just on cruising. We do that on when we go all inclusive too. Yeah, sometimes it's more when we go on all inclusive though. That's just because we be acting fool. But anyway, we can right. talk about what we do. <clears throat> all right. So the what next, you got, babe? the last but not least, the final thing we're gonna talk about, and then we're gonna come in the chat and see what y'all talking about. Yeah, because y'all <laughs> hacking up. I can see y'all. <laughs> Is the sign and sale card? Because we see that a lot of y'all still don't understand the sign and sale. Right. Um. Basically, the sign and sale is. Carnival's way of having a cashless system on board. Uh, like we explained that it's for to get off and on the ship. It's for to pay for things uh, on the ship. And it's also uh, for you to get in and out of your uh, cabin. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot of people get confused about the way that you should fund it. So we've been talking about some of the things that happens based upon the way you fund it. So we got some of Carnival's black and white here that I want to bring on the screen. Come on now. So this right here is when you use your credit card or your debit card so you remember we was telling you guys we don't recommend you using your debit card because they put those holes on there so you if you're on your phone you may have to zoom it in a little bit i don't know how how small it's gonna be uh but right there on line number three and four what the first the third and fourth dot it say a two to six day cruise they're gonna take a hundred dollar hole and charge it on your credit card or debit card the moment we told you it's a credit card or debit card it's still going to do the holes, but as a credit card, it don't you matter don't because it. you ain't spending that money. And then you can see on a seven-day cruise or longer, they're going to do a $200 hole. And then here's <clears> the thing they have to understand. This happens before you even get on the ship. Yeah, before you get on the ship. Yep. Before, like literally, you could be coming from off that, off that shuttle, the airport, you're going to see a $200 hole or a $100 hole before you even make it there. Yep. And as you can see right there on the fifth bullet point, you can see where it says uh, that the... Uh, that depending on your issuing bank hold policy, um, that's going to limit be limiting your funds. So when you get back home, mm -hmm. uh, you might not have access to all of your all of your money. So that's why we recommend um, funding it with your credit card. And then the next way you can fund it with, based upon the website, is you can fund it with cash. Uh, as you can see here. They say traveler's checks too, but we're not yeah. even going to touch on that because who's doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And see, I, I, what I like about Carnival Talk, you see here on like a two to four day, they recommend doing $100 per person, five to eight day, $200 per person, and a nine day along with $350. So you can- Oh, you so can, we behind the curve ball, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we behind. We don't, we, don't, we, don't be spending that much, we don't be spending that much cash, baby. Uh -huh. but, but then also we get the question is how other ways can you fund it? 
Um, you can fund it with a Carnival gift card. You can fund it with any prepaid card that has a Visa or Master logo. Um, they do not accept American Express. A whole lot of people don't say, accept American Express because because them benefits yeah, boy, they gotta pay. <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's big. I, I, we believe that this information that we gave here can definitely help you have a stress free cruise. Show them what a um sign of sale card looks like. Here's mine right there. We yeah. cover up my um government because I don't want y'all. Yeah, yeah I, already, my, I, I already oh, okay. showed it to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, my government man. I don't need people out in these streets looking me up. There we go. <laughs> and then he continues not to, <laughs> to cover up my government. Hey, they know who no. you are right now. <laughs> Trust me, this ain't the one. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't the one. All right, so now let's go ahead. Let's go to the chat and see what's happening yeah. in the chat. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right, so we see mm -hmm. we got a super sticker from uh, Rubio. Thank you for the five dollar super chat. Uh, in the concern with the uptick in the crime in Mexico, especially on Port Day in excursions. No, um, and the reason that I say this is because if we look at where the crime happened at, now don't get it twisted. Crime happens everywhere. Right. Um, I live in what used to be the murder capital of the world, <laughs> <laughs> Richmond, Virginia. Look it up. If I go anywhere else, I feel just as safe, but I'm also going to use my street smarts everywhere that I go. I'm going to be having my head on a swivel. Hell, my head on a swivel, and I'm sitting right here in my house. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not concerned, and I'm especially not concerned if I'm doing like carnival excursions and whatnot, because they have a bet, they have an interest in making sure that you're safe and that you're getting back on time and safely because bad press is bad press. You hear right, what I say? Right. Um, also, where this happened and with the kidnapping of the American tourists, it's closer to Texas than where <laughs> most cruise ports be. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, <laughs> and then also, you also got to look at, you know, I hate to sit make things situational, but we also don't know all of what was really going down as well but i'm I'm not too concerned and it may just be because you live and you learn you've seen so much so many times it's just like it's not that you're desensitized to it but you also just have to make sure that you're doing everything in your power to make sure that you're safe right and it made me think about um <clears throat> um the year in 2018 when we went to jamaica um there was a lot of crime going mm -hmm. on at the point where the military was on, was the, ground. on the ground and when we got there, we seen AK 47s, machetes, yeah. you know, you name it, we saw it. We had to go through a checkpoint on the street. Yep. But the thing about it, that was one of the best vacations we had. And we and we sat back, we was like, should we go? Or should we not yeah. go? Yeah. Should we? I mean, we contemplated for weeks, like, you know what, we're gonna get over there. And they gonna, gonna snatch die. us up. <laughs> you know, you're gonna get snatched up everywhere you go. You get snatched up. They're yeah. gonna snatch us up. But yeah, yeah, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. And if and like we always say, follow the money. Carnival is not going to take that shit anywhere. Cost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where it's going to endanger the passions. Because like, like the queen said, you know, bad press, they lose money. They lose money. All and right. then here's my uh, thing. This is how I think of things, too. If there's an uptick in something, I know that the presence of police and all of that is going to be there at a concentrated rate. So when Jamaica, when we went to Jamaica and it was going crazy and they was issuing all of these dot com, i like, I'm going <laughs> yeah. because at this point, everybody that needs to be protecting that place is protecting that place and I'm going to be right there. <laughs> That's just the way my bad works. All right. I see we got another super chat from um, TC Love. Hey, y'all. Hey. Uh, what are some tips for toddlers? Do you all trust the daycare on board? Going on the ballot on November the 23rd. Big ups to Lynette and Stanley. Appreciate it. Thank you, um, sis. Can I, I'm going to talk to you from an auntie's perspective. I don't trust nobody with my kids. And I don't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I, I, um, I believe that if the kid is not... This is just me. This is not like advice that everybody should be taking. But I'm one of those people that if a child can't speak for themselves or tell you what's happening, mm. I would not leave them in the presence or in the care of somebody that they don't know. Um, and that's just how I think of things. I don't allow my family to do it. If they with me and they need a break, then bring the kid to me. I don't play them kind of games. Are they, like we said, they have a vested interest 
every child is safe, protected, right. all of that. Do I think anything will probably happen? No. But me as a person, I just don't trust people. Right. You know, so do with that what you will. <laughs> <laughs> and then also on the piggyback on that, uh, we get questions like, okay, when I go on a cruise, um, what I'm gonna do with my kids. Uh, there's plenty of stuff for them to do. Like we told mm -hmm. you guys about Circle C, Club O2, yeah, Waterworks, um, all the pools, um, except for the, on the Serenity Deck. The kids can't go up on the Serenity Deck. But yeah, it's plenty for them to do on there, the arcades. So it'll be plenty for them to do. Uh, but like if you a parent that you don't like to see your kids out of your sight, it's gonna kind of be hard to let them go do all that. Right. But they will be fine. Because every time we take our little cousins and they they anywhere from 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, they, they don't want to be with yeah. us at all. Yeah, they purge just let them go. And they just, as a matter of fact, they fry more friends than we do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> but they're that talking age where, yeah. you know. Oh. All right. I see we got another uh, super sticker, 149 from BC. Uh, yeah. We appreciate that. I see another uh, 499 super check from Mr. Mr. Raiders. Raiders 804. Wait a minute, what's up? That's Rob. What's going on, Rob? Hey, Rob. What's that, Rob? <laughs> y'all remember I be telling y'all about my barber and we have the conversation about the first time cruisers. Here's him right here. Now, um, let me tell you, I'm going to give you a plug right here. If you live in the RVA and you need you a good barber, Come on that's going to give it? you a nice haircut, a nice shape up, so you're going to be looking tight like you. Rob, right. Rob <laughs> is your man. Yes, indeed. All right. So I see uh, we got. What else you got, brother? See some more super chat. So here we go. Hey, Kelly. All right. I see another super chat from Kelly. Good evening, uh, Miss Lynette and Mr. Stanley. Thank Good you evening. for answering my question. My little niece is coming on a cruise with me, and she's two years old. Her mother did. Um, her mother did. Her passport, passport late. late, but. Got the birth certificate on standby. Awesome. 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 All right. Let's see who else we got. There we go. I see we got another uh, super chat Margaret. from- Margaret. Thank, Thank you, Margaret, you for the so 999 much. super chat. We greatly appreciate it. All right. See another super chat so y'all from showing Jamila. Off tonight. Hey, Jamila. Said, said, do they place a hole on each time you use the card? No. Uh, they it's Oh, go out. Uh -uh. I was going to say, like, what they'll do is, like, for instance, if you get the $200 hole before you even get on board, right? So that's $200 of your money that's already being held up, especially if you're using a debit card. Then you spend another $200. They're looking at the system like, hold on now. How much more money do they really got to settle up at the end? And they may place another hold on there for like 100 maybe another $200. So now if they do another hold for 200 so that's two. You spent two. They hold another two. That's 600 bones right there. Right. That's gone. That's already tied up. And then plus whatever you're about to spend Man. again. Right. So that's why we're telling people don't, if you can, don't put your debit card on file because the holds, and it depends if your whatever term that that hold is on, it's not coming off until the terms of that hold has expired. Right. I've worked in banking for 23 years. You can call with a sad story all you want to. They don't care. They don't care. They can they see gonna, that They're going to say, posted. call the merchant. <laughs> They're going to tell you to call the merchant. They don't yeah. care if it's posted or not. Right. Call the merchant because mm -hmm. that's an agreement that they have with Carnival and the bank. They're not touching it. Right. All right. So we got a super, uh, a super sticker from Jamie 199. Thank, Thank you, Jamie. You. We appreciate Thank it. You. We appreciate. We got one it. earlier on um, um, our weekly nine nine set from uh, what's the name? We oh, missed yeah. it. That's right. Yes. That's right. Thank yeah. you Thank so you much. Thank you for the nine ninety nine super chat. We then, saw it before we got on. One. Then I see another super chat Last from Chino. Sis. We I didn't want to mess it. your name up. Y'all know how. Y'all know how. I see how we appreciate. Went in and I inter <laughs> yeah, I intercepted I that. Thank you for intercepting that one. <laughs> yeah, that's what good wives do. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm that's about ready to hike that path to you. You ain't ever lying. All right. Look, so. my eyes finally come. Look, I had to go to eye doctor today and get dilated. So. Everything over here is like this. <laughs> All right, so we got another super uh, sticker from Brian. We appreciate it. I just want to make sure I get everybody. Got another uh, super chat from Patricia. Patricia. Thank you Patricia so much, Frost. Patricia. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. See, this is what happens when y'all super chat. He goes and buys stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so let me see y'all. Uh, let me see what you guys got in the chat. Yeah, scroll on up so we can have fun with our peoples. All right. So See some of y'all still speaking. We got the church announcements out the way. 
All right, let's see. Uh, all right, so we got a question from Sierra. <clears throat> Will I get an itemized receipt for each day of the cruise showing how much each drink plus taxes is and everything I buy? You won't get an itemized receipt, but you will have access to your itemized spending account. And you can either do that on your app, your Carnival Hub app, or you can do it on the TV in your stateroom. But you'll be able to keep up with your purchases day by day, little minute by minute if you really want to. Um, so you could definitely be on task with that. All right. Next question comes from Lady J. Question, uh, do the Carnival Magic have kiosks where you can add cash mm -hmm. to the sign and sale card? They all do. <clears throat> um, if they don't, then there's a very, like, the exception to the rule, but all of them have kiosks where you can add the money onto it. And they're usually posted near, like, guest services. Right. All right. I see the uh, next hey, question. Shay, Shay. What's going on, Shay Shay? Hey, Lynette and Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> question. Uh, why, are, why are you required to put a credit card on file if you plan on using cash during the cruise? Because they don't know that. Yeah. No, you're not required to put um, a credit card on file, but it is like the universal form of payment for everybody these days is some type of card. And then it just makes things easier. It makes things go more smoothly. Imagine if you had a ship that holds 3,000 people and everybody wanted to use cash as their spending account. Can you imagine what the kiosk line and the guest services line would look like? Crazy. That would be insane. <clears throat> so that's really why they um, push it in. It's just easier to just go ahead and set it up from the comfort of your home and just settle it up when you get back home. Right. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, here we go. We got another super chat from La um, from Latoya. Appreciate it. Uh, how hey, do you Latoya. fund um, with cash beforehand? You can't. You can't. You can't, but you can send it to me. I make sure they get it. <laughs> <laughs> I play. <laughs> I make sure they get it. Woo. All right, I see another uh, super sticker from Travel Trio Watch. We appreciate the $5 super sticker. We appreciate sticker. it. They've been around for a minute. Yeah, appreciate it. All right. I see uh, Jamira says, Stanley, Stanley, I'm saying Stanley, my husband and I love watching you guys. Hey, hey. My husband has a beard like yours. What's up, bro? I know beard what he gay. did. Beard gay. I know what he did to get uh, it. What do you use in your beard? Great question. That is a good question. So I, I had been using Cantu beard oil, but I recently switched that I'm actually working on my own beard oil at this time. And I'm testing formulas out and seeing like which ones work the best. So all the fellas, y'all stay tuned for that. That hey. I'm working on it. I don't know when it's gonna come out. I'm gonna make sure that it's right mm -hmm. and that you're gonna get the results that you're looking yeah. for. So that actually, official. so actually, I got some in my beard tonight. So what y'all, what you think? I told him I said the sheen is is sheening. It ain't glistening like a Christmas tree. Because can too sometimes be making this stuff glisten like a Christmas tree. <laughs> all right, let's see. What else uh, you got? Let's see what we got here. All right, a question, a question for EMC fourteen three sixty. Come on now. Ah, can I can I get my kids a separate card to use in an arcade? Everybody will get a sign and sell card. Period. Now, what you can do is you can fund them and give them caps and different things like that. You can do that as well. If there's somebody in the chat that is more familiar with how they do their kids, if they want to do something different, sound that off in the chat because I don't handle kids. So. um <laughs> I'm not really like on it, on it, but I know you can do it, of course. But if you wanted to do like a something different with theirs, could you do just cash on theirs, credit on yours? Somebody that has kids that maybe have done that, shout that out. I think I saw Rich and Jazz in the comment at, um, in the chat at one time. They may be very good to ask about that. What's up, Rich and Jazz? What's going on, family? All right, here we go. I see we got another uh, super sticker. I'm spending <laughs> super chat. Uh, I'm spending my cruise cash on super chat. <laughs> Listen, and you know I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you. It. You know we we good for it. Like the old people say, you know I'm good for it. <laughs> hey, but but shouts out. I, I'm not gonna take all the credit for the new setup here with the mics. Shout out for to Terry from Addy and Terry. No, I have mercy. Uh, if you guys don't know them, you need to subscribe to their channel. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make sure I link their channel below. He was the one that told me everything I needed to make us sound like them. Terry. I know I don't sound like them yet, 
Terry, uh, we apologize. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna be hitting Terry up to be like, you know, how this and sound. that loud, how that sound, you know, do I need a little bit of polish up, need a little touch up? Cause right now, Terry, I'm working with the presets, bro. So uh, how do we sound in the comments? Y'all let us know. Like y'all can let us know. All right. I see another super chat from uh Julum. Jul um uh me and my girlfriend are going on our first cruise in June. Okay. Uh, thank you all for all the tips and advice for first time cruises. It really helps. Appreciate oh, you welcome. It. Appreciate That's it. That's why we do it. Good time. And the reason why, for those of y'all that don't know, the reason why we do this because our first cruise was a disaster. It's a cluster book. Um, if you have not seen <laughs> or heard that story, that is linked down in the description as well. If you want to hear about that. Because that's why we're so passionate about families traveling and it being stress free. Because right. that was the most stressful vacation we ever had in our in life. our life, and it took us how many years to do it again? What almost eleven? How much? 10, 11 10, years. 11 years? Yeah. yeah, it was like we were done with carnival. We were like, done with cruises. Period. Yeah, cruise. Like, uh, uh, I don't see what people see. They like about this. I was like, this get born. All right, I see. <laughs> we got uh, four hundred and ninety three of you guys in the house. Please make sure you slash smash that like button when you come in the door. All right. All right. I see uh what's that rich and yes that kids got to be capped on their daily spending because they don't understand <laughs> that the card is linked to an actual money. Right. <laughs> Listen, you be sitting up there with a thousand dollars in arcade fees. <laughs> <laughs> you get back home and you be broke. Yeah, lie. They be like, I thought you had two kids. <laughs> you know, I left one of them on the ship. I'm about tired of this. Kid. All right. I see some of y'all. I see uh uh nope, that ain't the one. Uh here we go. I see sis said we love it. The mics, you sound great. I appreciate <laughs> it. Appreciate it. That's what we want to. We want to be loud and clear. Listen, if y'all know we went through this week, I said, I don't want these goddamn mics. Get them away from me. <laughs> it's intrusive. All right. We got another super chat from Mr. Raider. Say, what's good, fam? Can can we bring kids favorite snacks on the ship? As long yeah. as they prepackaged, yes. sealed up. But Nothing that looks like it's homemade or nothing, because they don't want us bringing our edibles and stuff like that on the ship, you know. <laughs> you know, for safety or whatnot. Ooh, let me see. Uh, let's see where we at. I see uh, Trivia mm. say, hey, neighbors, love y'all. Hey. Love the new look. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right. So next question is coming from, fam, can I get some advice on first-time cruiser who is excited and nervous? Um, that's actually a very natural feeling to have. It's really, yeah, <laughs> you, you're excited about it, but anything that's not known to you, you're going to feel a little nervous about it. My thing is binge watch <laughs> videos. Um, You can start with ours. I'm not going to be selfish and tell you to only watch our videos because there's a wealth of knowledge yeah. out there on YouTube. Really get yourself familiar. Whatever ship you're going on, look up that ship. Like virtually see it through somebody else's eyes so you can start to get familiar with where is this? How does this look? Because there's nothing worse. Like I'm that person. I'm a planner. I'm one of those people that before I go anywhere, I put I go to Google. I put the little man on the street. I walk around the corner because I maybe I was a drug dealer in a previous <laughs> life or something. What? Because the way I move, you, you would think that I, like somebody's always on me. <laughs> you just paranoid, man. No, I'm not. There you like, is. I, I don't know. But any hoodles, natural to feel that way. But just arm yourself with as much knowledge as you can. Um, will you still have some things that go, oh, didn't expect that? Yeah. yeah. That's just part <laughs> of the experience. But as many things as you can find out and get yourself familiar with beforehand, do that. And you'll be fine. You'll be fine. All right. This is a good question for the first time. What's going on, sis? How does um, onboard credit work? This is my fourth cruise in September and the first time I have onboard credit. How does it work? Um, <clears throat> crazy enough now is you can actually start using onboard credit to pay for certain things pre-voyage. Um, just go to your convo.com and go into your cruise manager. You'll be able to you know, pay for some things. But it's basically exactly what it sounds like onboard credit if you want to buy things on the ship um for instance you you didn't buy like a bubbles package which is your soda pop as some people say it'll go against that if you want to go to the candy shop buy some candy it'll go against that you know so anything that you want to buy on board mostly you can go ahead and use your onboard credit it's almost like having a gift card 
already pre-filled on your sign and sale card and your money will pull from it. Well, your purchases will pull from it. All right. The next question is coming from fam. How do you download the chat app on Accountable Hub? Saw it's only $5 for the duration. Mm -hmm. Also, is Wi-Fi needed? I got it the last time. I think it was a waste. Gotcha. Um, can only do the Convo Hub chat feature on board. It doesn't, it doesn't even look like it exists until you get on board. So that's the answer to that. We talked about the Wi-Fi in detail before, probably about 10 minutes ago. Um, but yeah, sometimes, like we said, sometimes it's just it just be like that. <laughs> on the magic, it was it was being like that. <laughs> Like mine wouldn't work, but Stanley's would. Right. So anytime was... that we would have to do work, I literally would have to just put my my uh, MacBook in on his folio because mine wouldn't connect for a skit. Yeah, because it, it was like it took like five minutes to get on Google, and Man. you know Google is a plain site. They even got it so it's fast, but it won't fast on that Wi-Fi. Listen, you know how they used to say back in the day, "Let me call you when the rates get cheaper." <laughs> That's literally how we had to do the internet on the magic. Wait a minute, we had to get on late at night when I, nobody was on there. All right, all right, Alan and Chris, y'all showing off. Can I use onboard credit for TP? <laughs> now we we ain't going down that TP. <laughs> that day gonna teleport. <laughs> Listen, y'all don't make teleport so goddamn popular that I heard now that they're stopping people from bringing it on board. Which I don't understand. How was that even legal? Right. Like how you? It's wine. It's wine. I mean, it's it's I mean, liquor, it, but I mean, it's wine. It hit, you, it hit you hard. Yeah. I told you last time I drank that stuff, man. I was on my porch crying. All right. I see another super chat from Quentin Kelly. Y'all are the best. I love your energy and well, real well, talk. Praise the Lord. We appreciate you know, it that. Came, it came yeah. from God. Yeah. He decided yeah. to make me like this, and I decided to say thank you. He said he decided to download that energy <laughs> into your spirit. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Here what we go. You got, Question: Do you have to take your passport? Let me say: Do you take your passport or important documents off the ship? Uh, with you every time you arrive at a new port. Uh, can't wait to party with you all on, hey. on May 4th. Yeah, uh -huh. Yes, indeed. Um, No, I don't. I'm not telling you not to, but no. <laughs> um, Lock that skid up in your safe. For me, what I do is I put copies of everything that is important to me in my phone behind a password. And just in case we need to have some identifiers and some numbers and stuff. I told y'all I, I move like a drug dealer. Um, <laughs> I just make sure that I have that for me, my family, make sure that, you know, in case of emergencies, I don't have my passport, but here's the picture of it. Here's my passport number, all that good stuff. Cause I'm getting home. I know that's right. All right. And this question is from fam. Uh, if you get the cheers packet for alcohol, can you pay for it on a daily basis or do you have to purchase it for the full length of the cruise? Full length. I wish you could. We, full length. We've been, we've been praying to the Lord. that Carnival Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not with no alcohol involved. Don't pray to no God about that. Hey, hey, the Lord turned no, turn water no, into we wine. we ain't doing that. <laughs> Let me get away from you, bro. We get struck like my greatest said, crock will kill me. Stone did. Yeah, we, we, um, um, bro, we hoping in the future that they would change it where you don't have to pay the full price. Cause especially now with the cheers package for y'all, those of y'all that don't know that for every adult that's in the room, you have to buy the cheers package unless mm. you in there with an underage child. And they're gonna make you pay for it for the duration of the cruise, but we feel like it's not fair it's if not you fair. with somebody and they don't drink, and you are gonna make them pay for it, mm -hmm. and that's that's not fair. So we hoping that they eventually in the future they'll change that. But if you want to get away from that, <clears throat> then just go ahead and buy the bar cash. Yeah, um, we we have a video explaining all of that. I'm not a fan of it, but if you're a person that wants to stay on task with maybe you're drinking or you want to cap yourself at this amount in alcohol, that's a good way to do it. But if you, I mean, there's different ways around it, but all of them leads to you spending money. <laughs> right. I like this one. Uh, Wilson says, use your onboard credit to pay for your Wi-Fi. Yup. Love that it. Part. Love it. All right. Question from Joe. What's going on, Joe? What's going on, Joe? Um, we pay for our cruise with American Specs. Can can you not fund your sign and sale card with Amex? They don't let you, but that's funny though. They let it you let you pay for pay for the cruise with it, but they won't let you put it on for onboard credit. I mean, for your sign to sale. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm glad you looked at because I've never even like yeah, noticed. Awesome. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I, I keep a lot in the forefront. That was not one of them. All right. Next question come from fam. Is the option to add the credit card to your sign and sale an option that that to be prior to, or do you have to be on board? Can't remember prior what. Prior to. Yeah. Prior to. Like a couple of weeks before your sale date, you're going <clears> to <throat> start getting emails that you're going to have check-in, a check-in date. That check-in date is going to be the date that you select your boarding time to get onto the ship out and it opens up at midnight. So if you want, if you really like, if you want to get there early, midnight. <laughs> <laughs> I tell all of my people, especially if you're you're traveling in groups, I tell all my people, we traveling in groups, don't go sleep. Because we all are going to be on the same party bus coming from Richmond all the way to Norfolk. We all need to be able to board at the same time. So you'll be able to do that. You'll be able to um, set up your onboard spending. You'll be able to like put in your documentation, right? Anything that that will make this thing go smoother and faster. That's where all of that happens at your emergency contact. I will tell you all put Donald duck. If you don't have one, because (laughs) if you don't list one, that system is so buggy. It just starts to give you all kinds of problems. I don't understand why just put Donald duck, AAA Donald duck or something. I see it's 527 of y'all in the house. Don't forget to smash that like button, man. Yeah. The next question is coming from Althea. Can you pay, I I'm, I'm, think you're saying gratuity, separate from the person I'm in the room with because I want to pay now before it goes up. So what happens is, is if, like for instance, I'm a travel agent. If y'all didn't know, book your skit through me. All this knowledge gets filtered down to the booking that I do for you. So but you can have a stress-free free. cruise. That part right there. <laughs> um, but what it is, is once you add gratuities onto the booking, it blankets everyone on there. But it doesn't have to be paid off until final payment date. So if you're in a position to pay for your group prepaid gratuities right now, go ahead and do so. You can do that. And then theirs will be due before that final payment date. All right. Let me see. Uh all right, next question is from oops. Sabrina, question. What's the difference in signing sale and cruise cash? Which is better to do? I'm glad you asked because a yeah. lot of people get this mixed up. No. Where's my card, baby? Here you go. Yeah. So this is a sign of sale card. Let me cover up my, my skit. This sign of sale card. Ain't skit on it. And it's dead. Ain't nothing on it. But it comes to life when you put something on it. So you have to at least Put cash, credit, credit card, card, debit um, card. You know, we don't like to do that. Yeah. If but you, you can yeah, put a debit card, yeah. you can put cruise cash on it, bar cash. The card is just the avenue to your spending. It's dead without any of those things. So I hope that answered the question. So that's the difference. Card, nothing on it. It's almost like when you used to hear people say, when they had them rush cards, Man, I can't wait till my paycheck drop on the rush card. The rush card is dead until that paycheck drop. Same thing with the. <laughs> All right. Fab said, Rhonda says, sound fantastic, like a couple of pros. I appreciate it. And yeah, you know. <laughs> All right. The uh, next question is coming from David and Tanisha. Uh, they say, can you use your pass- passport card or do they take only a passport book? They take cards. We have both. They take cards. All right, let's see here. All right, we got another super sticker from Le- um Leanna. Leanna, appreciate that. Thank you so much for these videos. Appreciate First cruise for my fiance hey. and I on the glory in April. I feel so oh, prepared. Yeah, like right around the corner. Yes. The glory was our first ship. Yeah, that was the that was our disaster cruise. But don't don't no, it don't wasn't get the ship. It wasn't, it wasn't a ship. the ship, it was us because we weren't knowledgeable. We we didn't find nobody like us to help us. To get on the cruise. And that's why we're here right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, while we're talking about ships, because I see in the comments, like, a lot of people want to know, like, have we been on this ship and have we been on that ship? I Let's go ahead and put out there which ships we've been on. We've been on the Glory. Mm-hmm. We've been on the Sunrise a few times. Yep. We've been on the Magic a, a few, few times. times. And we've been on the Sun. Have we been on the Sunshine a couple of times or just once. once? Sunshine just once. Sunshine just, yes, it was just once. Those are the ships. Like, we... We, when I, um, I think a long time ago, we had explained that when we cruise, it has to be convenient. 
So we cruise from our home port, which is Norfolk, Virginia. So whatever ship they got is the one we get on or a nonstop flight to Miami or wherever it is. And usually it's usually the sunshine or something like that. Right. So now we're not the ones that if you want a variation of a lot of ships just to get our opinion about it, uh-uh, we ain't the one. Yeah, and for that, <laughs> um, you want to check out Addie and Terry for that. Rich and Jazz. And Rich and Jazz, AK Adventures. You want to uh-huh. check out them because they've been on a lot Ship of Ship life. Cruise. Yeah, so you want to check them out for, for those, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we see uh, we got another super chat from Sis. We appreciate it. Thank you for hey, all the amazing. Kiss. Thank you for all the amazing information and tips. I'm a intro, I'm introverted with vertigo. Jesus, you just like me. <laughs> hey, Sis. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I'd never cruise. Thanks to y'all, I'm so ready for my first cruise. Aww. Love your channel and the community you're building. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so you. much. That you means a lot. Amazing time. That that means a lot. That means a lot. People be trying to tell us we not introverted. It's like, no, we 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 have learned how to work within our introversion. Yeah. Sure have. Let me see. But if uh, we don't want to talk, we just don't. Like you just don't see us when we don't want to be seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. What's going on, fam? If you don't put money on your sign and sale call, it's basically a standard room key. A and room how, key. <laughs> yeah. How do you get it on and and how you get off and on the ship? Exactly. Boom. And 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 the thing about it, and if you don't fund it. You gonna be yeah you you can't drink no drinks yeah at the bar none of that stuff you just you just own the ship now can basically. you go through a whole ship without spending a dime yes yeah you can like mm-hmm. I've done it yeah because crazy enough like we we act up when we are on vacation we're we're vacation drinkers <laughs> like we do like our our other personalities come out when we are on vacation. Like we do all the party and skit. And then when we be at home, it's all about business, family, uh, yep. you know, maintenance, self-care. You can't stay turned way up all the no, time. That's unhealthy. Especially in your, in your 40s. When you're in your 40s, your energy is limited. Do y'all know if, I'm hitting 45 this year? I can't be you, doing all that you, skit. If you feel what I'm saying, put that in the comments. That that, that 40 hit different. You know? Hello. Like when you was in your 20s and 30s, Man, shh, well, nothing you could do. Man. Man, stay out all night, go do the next day, do the day after that, and just keep on going. You'll be fine now. Shh. You need to soak in some Epsom salt, <laughs> rub some alcohol on your knees, take a couple of Tylenol, <laughs> and get yourself together. <laughs> Man, I remember we used to party all night long, literally go to sleep, wash up, and go to work. Yup. Like, go to work with like uh, two hours of sleep. All right, I see you there, um, Jamie. Uh, I can't find luggage tags to fit the countable luggage tag. Like, go to Can our I... web our website. These ones right here is on our website, cofundtravel.com. Um, it's down in the description, cruise essentials, and they fit in here. Yeah, yeah, perfectly. They're a little worn, but when I tell you, these are probably like <laughs> yeah. two years old. Yeah, <laughs> and we just keep doubling them back. Like, mine stay on my luggage. Did you take that off my luggage? No, I've got oh, that. Okay, because no. I was going to get pissed. <laughs> nah, I ain't taking that. Nah, I ain't taking that off your luggage. I thought you was. You probably ready to get violent on me over over a luggage tag, man. Yeah, because if you're married, you know that people take your skit and don't put it back. And then when we go go on a cruise, I ain't got my luggage tag. And then when our stuff gonna get messy, and then I'm gonna have to go down and get search. See, you know how I processed all that just now. Look at that. Look at look look at fam <laughs> said forty five. Where sis, you look good. Oh, hey. Thank you for the two dollars too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Say cocoa butter and Jesus, baby. Uh, it works every time. It works every time. Yep, without fail. All right. Let me see. Fan Patricia said, uh, you don't look 45. I love you guys. Oh, thank you. So she's 45 and I'm 45. Yep. But I turned 45 this year. No, you don't. I turned 45 this year. You turned 44 this year. Well, you get in the 40s, you don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. I thought I was 45 last year. My cousin said. No, you're not, you're not 45. I said, yes, I am. She said, how do I know your age better than you? <laughs> hey, what's going on there? Hey, Scotty. Hey. Say my first cruise is in July on the count of a legend sailing out of Baltimore. Be more. Be more. Uh, with my immediate family. Thank you for all the cruise tips. Woodbridge representing. Hey. Baby, baby. One of my good friends lives in Woodbridge. Yeah, man. Woodbridge is a nice place. Oh, let's see what we got in here. All right, Andrea said, can you give me the website again? Yep. I'm a matter of fact, I'm gonna put the website in the chat. Don't put it in there right there. Shameless plug. Sponsored by us. <laughs> Here you go. And I'm a uh You gonna pin it? You gonna let me pin it? 
No, it's not gonna let you pin it. Nah, but there it is. You can snag it right there, sis. All right. Did it post? There you go. Uh, let's see what we got here. Any more? Got any more questions in this chat? Say this was a quick one tonight. Uh so we actually TG had a plan. Say, say y'all look great. I appreciate Thank it. You. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, here we go. Another question from Shay Shay question. For a big time introvert, a child with autism, yeah, so. do you have any suggestion on how uh we can be secluded, secluded. and enjoy everything on the cruise? Um, I'm a person that I, I'm kind of on the outskirts, but in the middle of the thick of it at the same time. I don't know if y'all have ever noticed that. Like if you look at our vlogs, like we're usually like on the outskirts of stuff, but we're like in the midst of everything. So that if I start to feel like it's just too much skit going on at one time, I can just back out a little bit and just come back and regroup. Um, that may be a good way you know, to make yourself feel a little bit more comfortable. But right. I'm also an introvert with extroverted tendencies. So <laughs> I'm one of those people that I'm standoffish until I'm not. And then I'm in the middle of the floor doing skit. Yep. Yeah. So it's getting it's, it in. Yeah. So you'll be able to like do your, like, especially depending on what ship you go on, there's a lot of like tuckaways, mm -hmm. hidden places that you can go and just, just, you know, get your zen on or go back to your cabin, especially if you have a balcony. Ain't yeah. nothing more peaceful than that. Than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, seriously, like we were on the group cruise, like legit. I was in like I just stole away and sat on my balcony for about 30 minutes and just yeah, came back. Or I was in the casino in a it's a it's corner a good, and doing my own thing. It's a good spot to get you some drinks and go out there and chill. Yeah. And speaking of, uh, because we got this from one of our customers this week about Smoking on the balcony. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, uh, we haven't heard anybody get caught, but you, you might, you just might be the example that they decide to set on your cruise. They're getting real tough right, right. now. Right. So I would hate for you to get fined five hundred dollars. You paid all that money Current to get on occurrence. this trip, and you on there with your family, and they decided, oops, we're gonna bust them for smoking. Shanae, yes. why are you in Bible study and listening to us at the same time? <laughs> so they have they have smoking areas on the ship. Yeah, sometimes it can be inconvenient leaving your cabin and going mm -hmm. over there. But you got to ask yourself, $500 on the balcony, free in the smoking designated area. So. And you can't smoke weed. You can't bring weed. Yeah. You can't bring CBD No products. CBD, no edibles, <laughs> no hookah machines, none Alleg of that. Look, allegedly. But I said, they, I said, I wish to God that they would get a hookah lounge on a cruise ship, man. <laughs> that would be dope. And a cigar bar. I mean, that would be dope. It's the fact that y'all have whole Havana areas without that, without a without cigars. Yeah, like a cigar bar bar. Like it's weird to me. All right, we got oops. All right, we got another super chat from Tanisha Black. We appreciate it. Hey, hey. If I've already if I've already paid off my cruise, can I go back and prepay my gratuity? Oh, absolutely. They they will take your money. <laughs> they will definitely take your money. Thank you all to Mikio Camper for the $5 super sticker. Appreciate it. We appreciate are, it. We appreciate it. Uh, let's see. I thought, all right. I see another super hey, sticker from you, Jasmine, Jasmine for 199 Appreciate you. Jasmine been around for a minute, too. Yeah. Long-term fam. Yep. See, I be knowing my people. Like, I know them. <laughs> What's going on, <laughs> What's Seth? Going on, Seth? Thank you for the four ninety nine dollars super chat. We're flying into uh, noise uh, for our first cruise. Tips for packing and carry on for the ship. Uh, we're getting through the rules of, of the container size for the plane. We have a really detailed video about that because we're carry on only period. Right. Unless we're leaving from our home port. And y'all probably heard us say this a million times that when we leave from our home port, more than likely my mom is coming with us. And my mom's disabled. So I manage her stuff and we put all of our stuff in this huge suitcase. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to go get the, uh, I, go? I meant to, I meant to bring it over here with me. What? I'll carry on because he's concerned about the size. Um, of uh, the uh, carry on? Yeah. The size of the no, carry on. Getting... No, no, no. Don't worry about your size. Um, he's worried about getting up, getting on the plane. Well, the each, um, um, I guess that cruise line, 
each airline has different dimensions for theirs. Usually I think it's, what is it up to 21 inches? Like Don't that. quote me on that, but I think it's up to 21 <laughs> inches for um, domestic flights. Anything that could fit in the overhead bin that has those dimensions is usually fine. Yeah. Have they, they say it's supposed to be a certain weight. When I tell you must get heavy, I ain't never had no, the only problem I've ever had was internationally where they want you to put it in the thing, make sure it fits. But other than that, I, if it's a true carry on, I don't think you won't have a problem. Yeah. All right. I seen somebody else. Here we go. <clears throat> Appreciate the uh the five the three dollar hey, super sticker, Frankie. We appreciate it. Frankie blessed us last week. Yes, indeed. All right. Thank you, Kimberly, for the 1999 hey, super chat. See y'all. Man, y'all showing all us cylinders. all kind of love tonight. Listen, y'all must have know we just filed our taxes, and as a business owner, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> well, we got part of it done. We got part of it done. We couldn't handle no more. We gotta come no. back. <laughs> we we owe we owe the IRS. Stop it. Every year, <laughs> yes. If that's you, you do you own the IRS every year? Every year, every year. All right, we got another twenty dollars super chat from Stephen. What's going on, What's, Stephen? His, he didn't put in on that. It's just oh, Steve. Steve. I'm sorry, Steve. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will you ever review Disney or Royal yeah. Caribbean? Uh, Wonder or Icon of the Sea? We love your opinion on these ships. Um, Disney, because I don't like Disney, period. I'm sorry. I know I know it's blast for me. We had a bad experience. That's um, why she's saying that. I, I mean, um, and for one, you kind of got to look at the fact that we don't have children. We're not child. Well, we kind of are childlike a little bit. But it's just not our thing. So, but Disney looks know. amazing. I, I just thought about uh, when we watched uh Tony video. Tony would cry his Ta ass. Tony said I was <laughs> crying. <La Lita Loca. laughs> he would cry when it was singing. <laughs> but I won't say never. Like I I have no intentions of doing Disney ever, but I I, I now I'm we, gonna caution we, myself by never saying never because we then I'd be a liar. Maybe taking our nieces and nephews on a Disney cruise, but that's kind of like Did you just see yeah. me? That's kind of like you, we just set that on the table and we just looking at it right the now. The youngest ones because we yeah. have a lot of nieces and nephews. I don't know if y'all know that. Um, it's family dynamic, like. But one of our nephews, what is he's what like twenty five? Like mm -hmm. we're that age where we have four and five. No, actually, we have a two year old niece too. Yeah. <laughs> so they're ranging for like two to twenty five. Thanks, fam, for the nine ninety nine super sticker. We appreciate it. I mean, this love is just like coming through Listen, crazy tonight, man. It's the mics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Monica, for the five dollar super chat. We appreciate oh, it. Oh, back to your other question. I forgot. Oh. Royal. <laughs> as much as it pains me. Um, we're going to try Royal. We are going to try Royal and try it out for size and see what it's all about. If you have not heard why we are so well, why I'm so against Royal is because of the loyal to Royal people that come through our channel and leave negative racist remarks, calling us everything but a child of God, monkeys, all of that. And I'm not budget I'm, cruise. Yeah, you you yeah. go get a job. I mean, it's just a lot of stuff that y'all don't see because we filter and get rid of those comments. But I'm also an energy person, an introvert that really is sensitive to energy. And I don't want to be trapped with people that look at me like I don't belong there. So I am going to do it at some point because even from a business perspective, I do need to do something other than, you know, carnival, carnival and, and virgin. virgin. Right. I do need to do something else. Stand out rising. Yeah. But as y'all can see, we only do what we love. Like right. we could be pushing every cruise line out there right now, but we only offer what we love and that we know because at the same time we want to be able to support it 100 percent. right and so then we, and then we don't want you to send you somewhere and you'd be like what the hell is this or you ask me a question and i and don't, don't know, know the it, answer, know the to answer. It. yeah so. all right we got another super sticker super chat from tc love appreciate it sis it's the bubbly package like the drink package, meaning does everyone in the cabin have to purchase it? No, now nah. that is different. <laughs> they ain't gonna make everybody buy the sodas. <laughs> but that alcohol, oh yeah. <laughs> Did you say the bubbly package? 
Did I say the bubbly package? I meant the bubbles. Yeah. It's okay. Appreciate it, fam. Thank hey. you, all Allen and Charisma hey, for the super sticker, two ninety nine. Can't wait till July. I need, I need about seven more to get that TP though. You I'm short, done. You short. <laughs> <laughs> Teleport is getting more expensive by the day. The more popular it gets, the more I see that it's going up in the store. Yep. Let's see who else we got down here. Mm. Mm, right. Mm, 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 mm. That's right. Uh, this sis right here, we brought her up last week. She has been showing us Miss Chanel. Chanel, been she all has been over showing it. us so much love. She's been been watching all the videos, so we definitely appreciate we love. Appreciate so, like you. she said, go ahead and smash that like button on your way in and oh. on your way out. Well, don't hit it twice. Cause doing it twice gonna undo what you did. Yeah, <laughs> keep it up. <laughs> yeah, we love you, sis. We appreciate you. We see you. Let's see. Y'all. What else you got? Somebody said, can we answer Gabby's question? I think I see Gabby's question right there. Right. I have a two-year-old. Um, does he count as a person with the drink package? No. Uh, Bubbles, my six-year-old, will also need it. Excursions, Atlantis, any things we won't, he won't really do, but is the group. So I... I hope I understand it. Well, <laughs> you, when it comes... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. <Yeah. laughs> when it comes to the requirements of everybody in the cabin buying like packages, that is for the drinks. That is for like the alcoholic drinks. So when it comes to like if somebody in your cabin is just doing the bubbles package, then no, it doesn't require everybody else to do it as well. Um another question we get, it may not be what you were asking, but I'm gonna wrap it up in that as well. Is why do we have to pay for like children to be in the cabin or whatnot? And the way that cabins are sold, they're sold by the cabin. So guests one and two are paying for that cabin. Guests three and four basically are the added like taxes, a little bit more money from fluff for the food that they're going to eat and stuff like that. But really guests one and two, that's, that's the bulk of it. So technically everybody pays, but the breakdown in the background is not the same. Um, what was another part of that? Um, the child's going to Atlantis. Um, Atlantis is going to be amazing, even though they may not participate in a whole lot of things. I'm not sure what Atlantis pricing God is. Do they have like up to a certain age, get in for free? It's Atlantis. So I doubt it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Atlantis will charge you to walk around most of the time. Let me stop. Yep. Atlantis. Atlantis be like that though. It's expensive. What's up, Rachel? Thank you for the 199 super Thank chat. You. Uh, hello, guys. Looking forward to watching. Much love. Hey. All right. We appreciate it too. Let me see. Uh I did we don't reach the bottom. I see a question that I that was a good one. Yeah, you you skip it. Let me see. Uh I don't <laughs> even see it no more. Like Max said, you skip it. <laughs> It's a good one. Thank you for the uh, question there, Christopher. Can you explain the casino? I've heard if you play, you get free perks. Is that true or not? If you play, you get pre, <laughs> pre-lost pre perks. Let me say it <laughs> like that. Um, Yes. If you are a heavy casino player, I'm not even going to say moderate because I've even considered myself moderate when we go. Like We'll spend a good little change in there. And we've done it to test this out to see if we'll start to get like the super crazy, amazing casino deals that everybody else gets. And we have learned, and I have learned even as a travel agent that the people that get those $200 cruises, $50 or free interiors, free balconies, or $500 onboard credit, they lost some money. <clears throat> it's pre spent. <laughs> they are people that really do. So just think of it like this. The cruise line is not going to incentivize you to come on board just because they like you. They they are giving you the incentive to come on board because you have proven that you're going to drop some dollars up in that piece. Yeah. And that's the short answer to how you get those crazy, amazing perks in the casino. You spending money. All right, we got another super chat from Rachel. We appreciate you, Rachel. Question, can I have a 16-year-old, can they ride their own ATV because some say they need license? 
I so can't answer that blanketly really, because you would have to read the excursion details to see yeah. what that is. Um, but I can tell you a quick trip that you can do to figure it out. Go into your carnival um, cruise manager and add that ATV and click on that 16 year old's name and see what it says. That's a good one. Like that. Yeah. All right. What's up, EJ? What's going on, EJ? EJ in the house. Thank you for the 999 super chat there, bro. Uh, what's up, fam? The best advice I picked up from y'all was to get the Facebook cruise groups. Listen. Yes, indeed. Uh, met a lot of good people, learned a lot about cruising as well. Does Virgin have uh have those groups? Well, you just kind of you, you brought up a good one. Yeah, you brought up a good point. But yes, um, and I will say this again if you're going on a cruise especially if you're a first timer go into facebook i know some of y'all be like i don't do facebook do it for this <laughs> <laughs> go in and for instance if you're on the carnival celebration may 14th 2023 literally type that into the search field on facebook carnival celebration may 14th 2023 and look for cruise groups that have gathered on facebook Join those groups. That is everybody that's going to be on your sailing. It'd be some people that don't be on your sailing. They be nosy. It'd be <laughs> me. I be in there. <laughs> um, and you'll start to be able to converse with people. You'll start to learn people before you even get on a cruise. It's amazing. But I will tell you some of you all this. Because as a travel agent, baby, sometimes y'all be killing me with the stuff that y'all see in these groups. And y'all be like, <laughs> hey, Lynette, this, this, this. And da, 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 da. I saw this in the cruise group. We get into that. <laughs> we get into that. Oh, they got free up. People been getting upgraded. Do I have an upgrade? I'm that travel agent. You got one. I know about it. Yeah. And you about to know about it too. <laughs> so you'll start to learn some things that's in the Facebook group. So sometimes take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes it'll go against all the stuff that we said. Listen to us. <laughs> um, But also... While we're talking about groups, groups, I was ready to say, I thought you were going to forget. I won't. <laughs> we have created two different Facebook community groups. We have created a Carnival Cruise community group, and we've created a Virgin Voyages Cruise community group. What the intention of that is, is it's basically going to be an extension of us here, right, right. here. And so, because we don't want every time you need some information, maybe you just have to jump on a video and see or view a video or whatnot. And also it can be self-run because there's going to be people in there as well that are cruise veterans that have done this before. If somebody asks a question, they could probably get to it quicker than I am, than yeah. I can. So it'll be a good place for it to be for you all to join, get those tips and tricks. And then you get to learn our personality too. Like, cause I, I'm going to cut up. Yeah. So both of those um, groups are linked in the description. So, uh, we look forward to seeing you over there on that side. Yes. Love it. All right. I like this one right here. Tisa said my Facebook group are a lot of upside down pineapples. Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Should I explain what that, what that means? Um, you can for those of y'all that don't know what the pineapple or the unicorns or upside down pineapple, it, it means that if you, you want to get the giddy up with some other people, well, I'm, I'm swinging, swinging, swinging. I ain't even, I ain't even gonna try swinging. Switch offs. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that. Kink. That. That, that's what it means. All right, we got another super chat from Denise. Appreciate it. Denise. Question is, my husband and I are taking our first cruise. Can we use one credit card for multiple sign and sale cards? Yep, that's what we do because yep, I don't want to have to say, um, settle up two different cards. So, yes, we use the same one. And when you do your online check-in, it'll give you, um, it'll ask you if that's what you want. It'll say, well, do you want your card to be used by Stanley? You would just be like, yep. Yeah, that's it. That's all. Yeah, uh, what was great to say? I don't know. Oh, yeah. And we do that, too, because we like to use our rewards card. Mm -hmm. So all the rewards can just go on one card and build up over time. Yep. Yeah. Because oh. I need that money. All right, man. Y'all just showing all kinds of love tonight, man. I see uh, another uh, super chat from... Uh, Can I want to mention... Kanidera? Oh, you need to pass the ball, too? 
I do. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to mess your no. name up, fam. Uh, Miss Murphy. Uh, appreciate the uh, ten dollars super chat. Appreciate it. I was nervous to travel without my husband, but I, but I'm going on a cruise in April um, with my eleven year old. Watching you all makes me feel comfortable enough Aww. to travel without my husband. Uh, hubby says thanks. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> yeah. You're so welcome. Yeah. Like we said, that's why we do what we do, man. Mm-hmm. And and I love it when we hear people saying that they got the confidence. I, uh, speaking of my my barber Rob, I'm, I want to pin this real quick. I'm uh, we was t- I was telling him that I was watching this YouTube video and this guy was talking about the average age of death, mm. and uh, don't get freaked out. Right. That basically the average age of death, I don't know if the stiff is right, is eighty. So uh, if you're forty years old right now, that means that if you're average, you got forty years to live. But I told him that God took the 40 years and flipped it on top of his head and said, no, you don't got 40 years. So let's say, for instance, you take one vacation a year. That means you got 40 more vacations if you're average. That's crazy. And that right there, like 40 more times. So if you do two trips a year, that's 80 more times. But to even take it dip, take it a lot more deeper than just traveling Let's just say that you live out of town and your mom or your grandma live out of town and you go see them once or twice a year. Are you 40? That's only 40 more times that you get to go see them. Mm -hmm. And I said said that to say is that sometimes we take life for granted Mm -hmm. and we feel like we got a whole lot of time and COVID-19 showed us that we don't. So I said to say this, that if you're looking to accomplish something and do something in your life, do it now. Yep. Yeah, because if you average and you in your 40s, yeah. And and I hope that hits you like it hit me. It definitely hit me and it put me in gear. And ever since then, I just been uh that's why we kind of started traveling the way we yeah. <laughs> the way we did because I don't want I don't no want regrets. Um I don't want my wife to pass away, but I don't know when the Lord is gonna take her home. And I don't want to have regrets and say, I wish I did this, I wish I did that. Mm-hmm. So while I have her, I, we're gonna do as much as we can to make the most out of life before I know get called. Yes. And I think what really brought that home for us is that um, if some of you all on the channel, that's probably how y'all got here, um, was that I had major surgery um, a couple of years ago. I had a total hysterectomy. And that's almost, it could be a life or death situation and didn't know how I was going to come out of that. And I was like, you know what? Buck this. Yeah. <laughs> like I've legit had a second chance of normalcy and let's just go ahead and just do our thing within reason now. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Um, Don't do nothing you can't afford. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so we're <laughs> like just start working on our goals. We became debt free. Like we've been working on that for a long time. I mean, being debt free takes a while to do. Yeah. Um, so we worked on being debt free paying off everything, all the vehicles. Mm -hmm. I mean, so that we could just free ourselves up to live our life without a lot of overhead so that we could freely just do this thing because it does take money to do this. It takes money to travel, but it, with a good plan, do that thing as many times as you want. Yes, indeed. All right. I see that we got another, uh, Latoya, you just going to just give us all <laughs> Put the card you, away. <laughs> Put the card. We don't close your tab. Stand near the port in Norfolk. Uh, best time, best boarding time. Um, you do twelve. Twelve's fine. Twelve, twelve thirty. Speaking of Norfolk, I actually got an email today from um, I got a connect in Norfolk. Shout out to you. I'm not gonna say your name, but they've really taken all of the critiques that we said needed to be done at Norfolk. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you they spent that thing on their head, yeah, they did. They literally dissected everything that we said and followed up with us. And then they check in with us to let us be like, this is what we're working on. You did, you know, when you said this, we did that shots out to Norfolk, Virginia for taking this thing seriously. Cause it's not about us. It's, a, it's about all of us. It's about everybody. Having heard, a stress-free cruise. Yeah. That's what it's about. I've heard so many people say, I'll never cruise out of Norfolk again. Right. We said it. Yeah. That's how bad it was. We don't want that. Like, we have an amazing opportunity in Virginia to have a lot of people come through here and have a great cruise. So, shouts out to y'all. 
All right, I see. Oh, Joe, I see we got a new member in hey. the house. Mm, thank you for mm, coming to mm, member. Mm, and thank mm, you mm, that you mm, remind mm. us that if you're interested in becoming a member of the channel, that's down in the description as well. You can become a gold member for support. Or you could become a vlog member where you get to see the behind the scenes of our personal life. Yeah. If you're interested. Like I said, that's down in the description. I'm going to drop one of those next week. It's edited. I just haven't dropped it yet. All right. We got another question from Michael Burrell. What's hey, going Michael. on? Thank you for the $5 super chat. Uh, happy Thursday, guys. Curious if you know if Virgin Borges um, status match other cruise lines, specifically Royal. They do status match, but it's certain statuses. It's the top tiers of them all <laughs> but they do they status match um if you're interested in booking a virgin cruise let me know i can definitely provide you with that information as well indeed Let's see all right so we got another super chat here from noah powers we appreciate it appreciate the 499 it. wife and i are going on a cruise in june on royal caribbean hey. we love your matching shirts thank, thank you yeah Matter of fact, i don't have we don't have the link down in the description for these right now but after the live i'll go ahead and stick them down there if y'all want to grab some but i'll tell you what we it got is. a funny story about these though. do we do but it's power in black.com use code lynette l-y-n-e-t-t-e Saves you 25% off at checkout. And it's not our company. People keep thinking it's our company. It's not. Nah. Um, we just have a really good relationship with them. And the shirts are A1. He said, oh, it's he said, by the way, not driving a uh, semi today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I had to fuss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. There was, um, I saw a question. That I wanted to pull up. You'll probably find it. Uh, let's see. It was about all inclusives. I saw it. Beep, 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 beep. Thanks for the love on the shirts. Oh, yeah. The funny story about the shirts. Oh, yeah. So um, we wore these shirts for the first time on Virgin. <laughs> And everybody that saw us, they was like, Congratulations. 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 Huh. We but we ain't say like, we ain't say nothing like we've been married for over 20 years. <laughs> like because at first i was like damn we can take these off but they was like living for it ah we got some honey booters i'm like no <laughs> no great question you line to say if i put cash on my sign and sale where they would they um put holes on it no no yeah holes only on credit cards and um debit cards yep and you don't have to spend all your money either you can actually get that money back out um right before it but not right before your voyage the night prior all right, let's see. Uh... Mm. All right, I see Latoya Lynette. Can you take over my booking? Yep, long as it's not paid in full. Well, yeah. I'm, I can't even say that yeah. now because I <laughs> took over it. one that was paid in full by mistake and they let me do it. <laughs> right. So hit me up, email me, codefundtravel at gmail.com. Indeed. So we got here said, can you help with land travel as well? I would like to discuss if you can assist. Thanks. I can, but I don't. don't. Yeah. Um, and the only reason that I say that is because I've gotten so busy. <laughs> you know, we do this and I actually, we, we collectively run the travel agency and cruises literally have taken over. Um, if there's like, I shouldn't put this out here because everybody's going to wait for that exception. Every now and then I will do it just because I love all inclusives. <laughs> like that's my right. thing. Um, but I honestly just don't have the time to dedicate to other brands right now. Let's see. But I have, I, I mean, I have some in my portfolio right now. Consider yourself blessed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and put a pin there. I see that it's still about 500 of you guys in the house. Go ahead and smash that like button. And then also, after you finish watching this live right here, we ask that you go ahead and check out our video called 21 Crucial Tips hey. that every first time cruiser needs to know. And it's gonna be linked right here after the live. And we're gonna catch you guys in the next video. You got to say straight from the VA. Oh, straight from the VA. Two up. Two down. Holla.